While through-hole components on a PCB can connect to a power or ground plane by design, surface mount components cannot, unless they are mounted on the same side as either plane. In this video, you will learn how to create fanouts for easy connection to the power and ground planes on your PCB. Section 1, Creating Symbol Fanouts. First, we need to change the visibility and color settings to make the fanouts easier to see. Select the Color button from the toolbar. In the Layers tab, deselect All, then select the checkbox for all top layers. Since our fanouts will be routed on top, we don't need any other layers visible. Now let's change the colors of the power and ground nets to make the fanouts even more visible. Select the Nets tab. Select the desired color for the power net, such as magenta, and select the power net from the list. Select the desired color for the ground net, such as green, and select the ground net from the list. Click OK to save the settings and close the color dialog window. Now we're ready to create our fanouts. Select Route Create Fanout from the menu, or the Create Fanout button from the toolbar. The Options panel will display numerous options for creating a fanout. Open the drop-down menu for Via Direction and select Outward. Before clicking any components, be sure the option for Symbols is selected in the Find panel. To start creating fanouts, click the components with only power and ground pins. The fanout is generated on both pins automatically. Section 2, Creating Pin Fanouts. Most components don't connect only to power and ground. For these, we need to create fanouts for individual pins. In the Find panel, deselect Symbols and select Pins. Select any remaining power and ground pads on the PCB. When finished, check the PCB canvas for DRC errors. This IC has several DRC markers because the traces created from the fanout are too close together. To fix this, change the via direction to Inward and click the affected pins. The net-to-net -net clearance issues have been resolved, but the traces are still too thick. To fix this, Check the option for Override Line Width and click the traces to resolve the errors. Right-click and select Done when finished. The fanouts have been created and all power and ground pins have been connected to the appropriate planes. For more tutorials, visit us at resources.ema-eda.com and don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel.